You know, today is a very, very special day. And as I said, without Joya ma'am, you, I, none of us would have been here. Because she was the one who first started your wonderful school and all the other activities that happens in this campus. Alright, so what do we do now? Do you know? There is somebody amongst us who is going to share her experience. Although she is Shutopa ma'am now, but she was also a student like you once upon a time. Teachers and my dear little friends, by now you all know why I am here today. Uh, do you know who I am? Let me introduce myself. I am Shutapa Chakravarti, working with the private hospital of Kolkata. Now, but I was a student of this school as you all are a few years back. And all of us know that today is Joya Ma'am's birthday. I am honoured that the school has asked me to share a few words about her on her birthday with you. Joya Miss, as we fondly used to call her, was an epitome of beauty, pure beauty. She carried an aura of beauty around her in whatsoever may be the situation. We never knew her as the principal of the school. She was a mother. She was the driving force behind all positive aspects. Always working, always running all over this area, looking after each and everything that might need her attention, smiling as you can see her in all her snaps. Beauty combined with true love were her weapons to win one and all. She could make everyone work as she did herself and she could bring out whatever is good in anyone. We were awed by her grace on every individual occasion. Being an all-rounder in the truest sense, she would teach us to sing, to act, to make flower bouquets, to take care of guests visiting the ashram, take care of flowers in the garden, plant trees, decorate classrooms, as well as sell ashram products during aspiration. When you go around inside this institution, you might find a lot of activities going on. It is a happening place. It was exactly the same during our times too. The series of actions were initiated by her. She had the superpower of knitting the urge for activities in others subtly. She was so calm and peaceful in her thoughts and so vibrant in her activities that all works planned would fall in place. When we were here, the school was small. We learned to manage with whatever resource we had. We faced long hours of power cuts. We enjoyed shifting the entire class under the Later we understood how she taught us to accept life as it is without any complaints. I always boasted of Joanna's special inclination towards me. I was very proud of that. Later, when I grew up and we discussed about her amongst friends, I realized the same feeling enriched all of us in our special way. So was her personality. She would call me my head girl. Once after leaving school, some of us came to visit Aspiration. When Jarvis asked me to recite something, I was not perfectly ready for the show. 
So I requested if I can recite Shadurun Me by Nobi Thakur. She at once said, Na, what an eye. You do Shadurun Me now. You Shadurun Me can you tell me? Tell me. So was she. After school, it was quite usual to stay back and indulge in various activities which Joya Miss was busy doing. She made us arrange books for the library, prepare charts to record the classes. Often we spent afternoons listening to music or watching good movies. We got lunch from the ashram kitchen too. Even after so many years, when I come to this place, I never feel her absence. It seems she's there everywhere, smiling at us and would call me anytime by my name and assign something or the other. I wish her many happy returns of the day.